Diary, good evening. It is the beginning of September 2023. I'm fairly excited to be unpacking the Flexi Dock from Icy Dock. Now, <clears throat> this is a little gadget that would fit in a five and a quarter inch bay on the front of a, a PC case. And the reason it's so marvellous is that it would, it would allow you to pop in up to four two and a half inch drives. Now, I did have an old version of this which I sold, but I'm <clears throat> now I'm not so sorry that I did sell it because this is going to be a better product because on the old product, you had to put the drives into like little metal caddies. And I think in the new product, you don't have to do that, not according to the uh, advert. Uh, I mean, I was first of all searching online for the old product and it said a new product is available. So this is the IC Dock Flexi Dock. Packaging, it's very simple packaging. I do approve of this very minimalist packaging. It claims it can fit up to four two and a half inch drives SATA HDD. Uh, again, in, in the, it's going to host interfaces four SATA seven pins and one power pin. I wonder if it comes with any cables because I'm very short of cables. I've given most of them away. Okay, so we've got a lovely minimalist package with some tiny little screws. I guess they, that will fit the dock to the case. And there goes the cardboard box and I like to open these packages carefully in case I, I need to make an accurate and like it's never been opened Amazon would spend. Oh look how short it is. Oh like a modern CD player. Oh there's a little paper guide. <clears throat> Great, it's actually a guide of installation, not a guide of don't electrocute yourself with five volts. Fantastic, look at that, what, what, what great simplicity. Uh, and so at the back, we've got the, the four SATA ports. Is this, uh, is this in any way the wrong way around? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna twiddle it around, won't we? So this is uh, four ports of, of SATA, one port of power, uh, a fan, and I'm kind of noticing there's no cables. Oh well, there's no cables. Okay, and um, let's look at the front. We've got the icy dock front. And the most important thing is, do I have a drive I can test it with? Oh, what, just hold on. Ah, oh, okay, I found a prop, uh, actually in fact a, a completely valid uh, crucial uh, SSD. So as we can see, we've got a fan control knob here and four spaces there are no caddies whatsoever you just take a, a, a an ssd drive and you make sure you're getting it the right way around and you simply slot it in he said and as you do that the eject button comes out wow that is so fantastic but it means to say there are no caddies and so what i anticipate is if you install say a four port sata controller you can just have these drives you can pop them in pop them out as you like how absolutely wonderful. Now, of course, in these days of uh, ultra-fast NVMe drives, this is, is not going to appeal to everyone. But if you're testing an older system, this could be a really cool addition. Oh, I think this is great. So this is the IC Dock. What have I bought? What have I bought? The IC Dock Flexi... IC Dock Flexi Dock. Where are we? IC Dock. Flexi Dock. Okay, so Mr. IC Dog is installed. 
it was actually trickier than I anticipated because even with my delicate piano playing fingers, um, the short nature of this drive, so it's, it's right in there, makes it difficult to get to the other, to plug it in, because these regular 1.2 1, 1 meg and 360 drives are standard length, and, the, and this is a, is a nice short length. It's nice, except when you, it's adjacent to something that is longer. Anyway, it's plugged into a PCI, not even a PCI Express bus, on my 20 year old uh, PC, which if you've been following along, is a 36, 32 bit processor PC. And it's looking something like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, the cover on, we're gonna boot up and we're gonna see it all working. Okay, it's time for the big power on. We're gonna check the power buttons on. Don't forget this is a 20 year old plus PC. So I don't expect lightning booting speeds. Now you see the light comes on. These are individually power, power lights here. I've just got the one on, two drives in. Let's mosey on down to the actual BIOS boot screen. Come on, come on Pentium 3, you can do it. You see control S for the RAID card. One drive is visible, two, three, eight gigabytes. Now, if I just show you here, the first boot is Antics 23, and the second boot is Debian 12. So there's a single physical disk, and on that disk are two different operating systems. As opposed to an easier way of doing it would have been to put a single operating system on each disk and just press the on button or not on the front. But we're going to go with the Antics operating system up here. And then there's a reason for booting it, because I want to show you something important. Hmm? I don't want to show you this bug. I can't seem to get rid of this bug. It delays the boot process. Okay, we've booted, and the first thing I wanted to show you is that initially uh, nothing was working but it turned out to be faulty connections and eventually, as you've seen, it boots fine. And we can see, importantly, the SATA link speed on this very old machine is only 1.5 gigabits per second. And that's very important because on the specs of the box, uh, when it wasn't working, I noticed it said between three and six gigabits per second. I thought, oh, it doesn't support old, speed, old machines, but in fact it does. So don't be worried you can connect at 1.5 gigabits per second, or three or six, uh, depending on your SATA controller. And don't forget, on the oldest generation of kind of uh, PCI buses, which is the standard PCI bus, I think I remember calculating that the actual bandwidth of the bus is only about 150 mega, about megabytes per second. So um, we can't have a super fast uh, connection SASA, SASA disk link speed uh, and no PCI controller is going to give you that three or six gigabit link speed because it just wouldn't function on the PCI, not the PCI Express bus. So that's the first thing to show you now. Oops, the second thing is I just knocked the camera. <laughs> so next look along to the uh, file manager port for Antics and we'll see that we've got as alluded to earlier, we've got uh, Emma Buntus uh, in this partition here. It's trying to mount it, but it can't because it's not root. You can mount it, of course, by clicking on this and saying root mount, if I want to, oh, let's do that. So you can see now we've got a different operating system there. This is the one I booted from, and this is the other one, which uh, is the Emma Buntus other operating system on the same physical disk. But what I'm going to do now, we're going to go around the front. So the system is up. It does say it allows for hot swap. Shall we just see? And we're going to press the power on button for the other drive that's physically sitting in here. Press the power on button. And as if by magic, there's now a third operating system here. 
So as you see, there's a, an operating system called Root MX23. So I wanted to show you the fact that this does allow for hot swapping, what's the hot swap, sorry, hot plugging of a drive. Now that will depend on the Linux that you have um, got and, and the capabilities of the system. But potentially, uh, you could certainly pop a disk in, press the power on button, and read that disk at that moment. I mean, it'd be, it'll be more reliable to start from cold. Okay. So the summary is that I'm very happy with my Icy Dock, Flexi Dock. Uh, the actual part number or part manufacturer number is MB014SP-B, and MB014SP-B. Uh, as you can see, we've got uh, individual power on buttons for the drives. We've got a hot swap facility, depending, I, I guess, on your operating system. But certainly you can ins push in the disk at any time and then press on the power button. Um, it doesn't require a caddy. The, the two and a half inch uh, SATA SSD just slides straight in. The only thing you've got to be careful about is, is to uh, make sure you get the drive in the right way around. That's quite stiff, so it goes in that way around. And it's also a bit wobbly because it has to, it has to cater for a, a thicker drive. It's nine and a half millimeters. Okay, that's it. That's the Icy Dock, uh, Flexi Dock. It was about 60 pounds from Amazon in the UK. Thanks for watching.